Oh, hey, look what I got. The tarp's in. Uh, it's changed about 16 degrees Celsius since uh, a couple days ago. It went up to plus 8. Rained a bunch. Now, uh, now it's about minus. Dropped down to minus 8 last night. It was perfect for making ice, but I uh, wasn't ready. Um, but now it's about minus 5. And I don't know if you can tell, but there's snow falling. And uh, at this stage in the game, it's not going to make a big difference in the ice. But you don't want to have snow. Snow that's soft ice. You want to stay away from soft ice. So what we're going to do is we're going to start, uh, we're going to unbox this 40 by 60 white tarp. I had a had a person come up to me at the coffee shop earlier today and asked about color tarp. Um, I started with a blue tarp. It was fine until the spring came and then with this hot sun, uh, especially in March, really melted the ice really quickly. Um, and so I went to a white tarp and to be honest, I never went back. Got a friend that uh, bought a gray tarp. We'll see how his season goes. But uh, if it's me, I'd spend the extra money and get the white tarp. Typically, they're about twice as much, but twice as good. Hey now, as you can see the tarp is laid down and what you want to do is see this little bump here, you want to smooth it down. The more that you can smooth it down, the less water you're going to have to use and the quicker you're going to be able to skate on the rink. So as you can see, you can see the tarp is now laid down here and I've already started to put the boards up. Well what we're going to do now is we're just going to take these screws and we're just going to screw them into the back here and this is what's going to attach uh, not only the one cap to the I don't know. I think we should start put laying water to it right now. I think we should just start getting on it. I can do these taps or these screws here. I can do those after or when the water's flowing. You know what they say, when it's minus, you make ice. 